I heard stories that Gautam was the one who told Sharuk. I'm thankful for whoever saw and whoever put in the the effort and whoever said, well, we need to get this guy here. Um, I think it's a great franchise. Definitely, if I have to do it over again, I'll do the same way, same franchise and everything. As a young cricketer, I didn't look at cricket much. I was more outside playing with friends and, and family. So I, I didn't follow the game as much because as a young boy, from where I am, you don't really think about West Indies because it's far, far out of the picture. So I wasn't keen on watching much cricket. I was keen on more playing cricket outside and enjoying my, my childhood days. I'll go to school and um, sometimes try to leave my bag at the Oval instead of traveling with but it, it was tough because after school, then you go training and then you go home. So sometimes you reach home after eight, nine in the night and then you have to do it again the next day. But it was tough, but probably that made me into the person I am today. I mean, once you're in cricket, Lara was the only guy you probably support because I love batting and batting was something I always enjoyed and I'm still enjoying it. I think bowling came second. I always put more focus to batting, but then um, at age 19, 18, bowling took over. So I started batting less, which probably didn't help, but at the end of the day, it happened and I wouldn't have it no other way. Probably around 2009, 10, I was going to stop playing hardball cricket because it was tough making Trinidad team. So I was like, there's no possible way that I could probably make Trinidad. And then he was like, no, don't give up so early. He remind me about all the days we, we traveled to the Oval, all the hard work we put in, and he was like, don't worry, your opportunity will come. Just relax, believe that it will happen and it will. And honestly, it probably was probably the best thing he could say because I genuinely was going to stop. And thankful for him saying those things and being the father that he is, never gave up on me when I was about to give up on myself. When he passed away, I made a, a pledge that I was going to try to do more with the bat because he always said I could bat and he always wanted me to show that I could bat. So on his passing, I made a pledge that I'm going to give it my all for the next two years and see where, the, where it goes. And it's working for me at the moment and it's keeping me in the game whether we bat or bowl. Playing club cricket with Bravo and them, when you play zonal cricket against them, you always want to do good. So when you come during the week, you have something to brag about. So I think um, the competition was always, always stiff. And I think we give it our all at that young age. So I think that's where we develop our hunger for winning cricket games. I got a call from one of the selectors that um, I'm picked on the tour to India, which couldn't be more exciting. Just traveling with West Indies and the senior guys you look up to that, that play the game, Pollard, Bravo, Bravo, those guys. It was just a, a joy for me to actually be at, at West Indies level with them after watching them for so long. You know, you just want to start international cricket good. And I think that India series was the foundation of my start as a, a good bowler and someone to, to look at and I'm thankful for West Indies and everyone who gave me the opportunity and was backing me 100% in going out there and just um, executing my skills good. Surprisingly, the guys were at a party because we were playing a four-day game at the night. So we were at a party and everyone was trying to get the auction via um, internet, but we weren't lucky to get it on our way back to the hotel. Brav was in the front seat and Brav said, you got bought an IPL. I was like, well, well, that is good. And he asked, like, how much? So I was like, I'm not sure it might get much. One time there, I'm okay. And when he told me the figure, I was like, I couldn't believe it. I was like, there's no way that I'm going to get paid for pay that amount of money to play cricket. And then Paul had message and said, and sent me the screenshot of the auction. And then I knew it. It was, it was on. I thank God. The first call I made was to my dad and them, telling them, and they were overwhelmed. I heard stories that Gautam was the one who told Sharuk. Yeah, I think they saw something that they, they know it could have worked, which worked well for them. And 
I'm thankful for whoever saw and whoever put in the the effort and whoever said, well, we need to get this guy here. Um, I think it's a great franchise. Um, starting IPL, I mean, the pitches were a bit spinner friendly. So I think that contributed to my success. And being the new kid on the block, um, you have you have your time when no one knows much. So I think that was a key moment. I, have, I didn't play much international cricket for, for them to really know exactly what I do and what I don't. So I think surprising IPL probably was the best thing that I didn't play much international cricket. And I mean, it was a dream come true and a dream start. I couldn't ask for nothing better. And actually going out there and winning the title was just icing on the cake. It's one thing KKR has done over the years. The support staff has been great and they always back their players. Definitely, if I have to do it over again, I'll do the same way, same franchise and everything. Um, first time I opened was in Big Bash and then came here right after the next year. So they were they were they asked um if I'm keen to open, I was like, whatever the team needs, I'm willing. Whatever I could do to, to contribute to victories, I'll, I'll try my best. And Gambri came to me and said, Don't change anything, just play confident, go out there and try to give us a good start. That was mainly it. He said, Don't worry about outing, just go out there and give us and any, anything you could give us at the top is going to be good for us and we'll try to build on that momentum. I mean, putting in the hard work, you just put it in to have successful games or to show, show the world that you could bat. It shows that once you genuinely put your mind to something, that, that it's possible. Even though it looks impossible, that once you put your mind to it, there's always a possibility that the outcome is there. For a guy who played so much chess cricket and so much one days and T20s and has dominated for, for New Zealand, I think it's it's a privilege to, to hear him call me that. It shows that he cares about about me and we know each other so good that he feels comfortable saying it. The first time I came KKR, he was here. Then he played with um, La Hawke Landers for two years. Then he came to CPL, he played there. And now he's coach, so I think um, we have a good relationship. And we always had that relationship as a as a player or captain. He always come to me as a as a go-to as a go-to bowler. So I think um, we always had a lot of chat. So I think that's where the, the the love and the the trust came in. So I think we have a good relationship. And his advice and whatever advice I give him, I think we take it seriously.